in the moments that matter, those students will have to know how to perform. So it's, the simulators are an amazing tool to be able to get our students to practice, practice, practice. NAV Canada, an organization that manages Canada's air traffic control and civil air navigation systems, along with CAE, unveiled a new air traffic services training center in Montreal. This training course for flight service specialists and air traffic controllers features a new state-of-the-art simulator to help students better understand the crucial importance of communication between air traffic controllers and aircraft pilots. I think, frankly, a lot of people aren't aware of the role of an air traffic controller or a flight service specialist. I hope that by CAE entering this space, we can bring a spotlight on it. CAE Stella Marissa Hughes and Diana Kelly of NAV Canada say the goal is to hire 1,500 students from now until 2028, with CAE helping with one third of that intended goal. We're looking to increase our throughput of training. So we want to train more people in a shorter period of time while still maintaining our very, very high um, standard for qualification. The center is located in Ville Saint Laurent with Hughes saying they have 35 aviation professionals who are supporting the simulation and delivering the hands-on training. Not everyone is set to be an air traffic controller or a flight service specialist because it requires good communication between uh, pilots and between air traffic controllers and flight service specialists. But a lot of those skills are the skills that CAE is bringing to them now. Taxi Alpha Tango to the main apron. I was able to participate and see the program's state-of-the-art control center simulation, which provides accurate and real-life situations from routine takeoffs to emergency crash landings. I think a lot of people don't realize how much goes on in air traffic control. When we had people up earlier in the simulator, we put on a mayday scenario, and you're trying to deal with the scenario at hand at the same time that more pilots are trying to land into these busy airports. That's a fun part of the training where we get to uh, create the environment for them. Uh, there's voices on the other end of the line. They can practice talking to pilots and to airplanes and solving problems. Hughes says their role is to promote the industry to Montrealers and Canadians as CAE notes they need 1.3 million pilots and crew professionals within the next 10 years. Montrealers interested can visit their website for more career information. And I think it can make us better at training pilots as well because now we understand the challenges both of the controllers and of the pilots which is better for leading towards a safe airspace. In Montreal, Dehostudy Hastir, City News.